Hey, what's going on? CoinApp TV subscribers, Robert Welkner. And in this video, I want to talk about Shaw Scope Volume 2 coming out in November 2022, which feels like it's just around the corner. Now, if you know me and you know my channel, you've been following me, you know that I'm a big fan of martial arts movies, Jet Li, Jackie Chan, Shaw Brothers, Kung Fu, martial arts movies. And I'm very excited to be checking out and picking up Shaw Scope Volume 2. And lucky for us, we actually had a little bit of a leak on Amazon. They put up the uh, advertisement and the list a little early, so we actually have pre-confirmation of what 14 movies are coming out for Shaw Scope Volume 2. Uh, the Arrow video team uh, just posted on Twitter that they're going to make an announcement in a couple of days. So a little bit of a leak here, but some of these movies we actually already knew about, and now we've just got like confirmation on the full list. So 14 films, Shaw Scope Volume 2, coming November uh, 2022, this year from Arrow Video. This is a great box set collection, um, lots of movies, 14 movies. So we got six movies from director Lau Carl Lung. And apologies if I'm saying things incorrectly, I don't really say these out loud a lot. So six films from La Carlang, a, a classic, a great director, and four from my other favorite director from the Shaw Brothers Library, Chang Che. So um, let's go over <clears throat> some of the movies. First up, the biggest one, The 36th Chamber of Shaolin. This is from 1978, starring Gordon Liu, Gordon Liu, and um, <clears throat> just classic. He becomes a monk, shaves the head. It sort of turned him into kind of the celebrity that he was there. Master Killer was kind of his nickname. I have this on Blu-ray already. It'll be interesting to see how this Blu-ray uh, from Dragon Dynasty kind of compares to the new Arrow video one. Uh, next, we got Return to the 36th Chamber. Uh, this is from 1980, also starting Gordon Liu. Return to the 36th Chambers of Shaolin, or Return of the Master Killer. I have this on DVD, so this will be great to get uh, a new Blu-ray copy of this into the mix. Now, these two are both great. Then you get to the third one, and we get to The Disciples of the 36 Chambers. This is from 1985, also from director Lao Carl Lung. Um, this one is okay. It's not like the best of the bunch, but hey, if you're gonna be putting these out, you might as well get all three, just so there's no confusion. Just get them all three out in the box set. I'm actually surprised that they included all three, because I thought, you know, maybe disc one or two would have the first couple, but that's cool, we're getting all three. Uh, then uh, next up, I don't have this, is My Young Auntie, which is from 1981, also from La Carlung, director, uh, female protagonist, uh, lots of action and hijinks. I just watched this recently on, um, I think it was Amazon or something like that. Uh, I thought it was fun. Not my favorite of his movies, but you know, it'll be sort of interesting to check out. Uh, another big one, Mad Monkey Kung Fu from 1979. I was looking around my house to see if I had the, the DVD of this or Blu-ray or something. I, I didn't find it. I know I've owned this before on VHS and DVD. I just, I couldn't find it or maybe I, I lent it out to somebody, they didn't return it. But Mad Monkey Kung Fu, you've probably heard of this. This one is really huge, really popular. Uh, lots of action, lots of great choreography. It'd be great to uh, check this one out again. And then finally, Martial Arts of Shaolin, which is a Jet Li movie, an early Jet Li movie, Martial Arts of Shaolin from 1986. And I believe that that's this movie, which I have on DVD called Shaolin Temple. And I was trying to sort of Google before I started the video and see if there's different names of this, but I'm assuming this must be it that I'll be replacing. So uh, if this is it, he becomes a monk, he uh, learns to fight, avenge, uh, you know, the dynasty, and uh, get get uh, get a lot of, uh, I think there's a little romance subplot in there. I, I vaguely remember there's, uh, there's a lot of stuff going on. It, it's fun. It's not the best Jet Li movie, but, you know, it's good. So those are the six movies. Lang Kar Lung. Let's move over to Chang Che, my other favorite Shaw Brothers martial arts director, and one of his best movies, The Kid with a Golden Arm. 1979, this is the Venom Mob at their best. Intrigue, action, um, spoilers on the back cover there if you haven't seen this from 1979. Uh, it'll be great to see this on uh, hopefully remastered Blu-ray, looking nice, looking pristine. Big fan of uh, the Venom Mob movies. And we got another one, The Magnificent Ruffians, which I have the DVD that says The Destroyers, also starring the Venom Mob. This is from 1979 also. If you didn't know the Shaw Brothers movies, they just cranked them out like every week, every month, they were just cranking them out. 
making them as fast as they could, pushing them out into the system. Uh, this one here, 10 Tigers from Kwantung. This is also Cheng Che from 1980. This has the Venom Mob in it, plus T Lung and Alexander Fusheng, which I don't see. Oh, yeah, there's Alexander Fusheng name and T-Lung, but I'm surprised they do not include them on any of the artwork or the cover. You know, Alexander Fusheng, rest in peace, died early, but just like very charismatic and handsome um, guy. And usually whatever movie he's in, even if it's a cameo, he's on the cover just to sell, sell things from the uh, box art. And then finally, another classic, 1979, Invincible Shaolin. This also has the Venom Mob. I just watched this again recently too and it'll be great. Now, a lot of these uh, will be coming with uh, commentary, special features, bonuses. Uh, let's move into some of the non-martial arts movies and some of the ones that I, I've never seen, I've heard of. Five Super Fighters from 1979. This is from director Lo Mar. I've never seen this. I watched the trailer this last night and it looked like it was kind of a fun action packed thing. Didn't quite have the same style that I like and I didn't recognize any of the actors in it in the trailer at least. Uh, here's the synopsis. Three young martial arts students and their teacher are beaten up badly by a wandering man who proclaims himself a corrector of bad kung fu. Because we need that. We need correctors of bad kung fu out there. Determined to avenge their teacher and regain their honor, the three students all go on their separate ways to find kung fu masters who will take them on as students. So this sounds fun. Uh, we got people learning kung fu training scenes and things like that that will be great so i've never seen that but i've seen that in stores i've seen dvds of that uh I've, i'm familiar with five super fighters uh arrow videos considering that kind of a underrated gem okay another movie in the collection mercenaries from hong kong this is from 1982 director wang jing I've never seen this, but I think this is a little more of a modern take on the heroic bloodshed um, style of action movies. So uh, contemporary, I guess, is the phrase to say. Here's the synopsis from IMDb. A gang of ex-military guys are hired by a mysterious dame who wants them to go into Cambodia, go into Cambodia and kidnap the assassin who killed her father. Sounds fun. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll give it a watch. I'm more into the martial arts, the traditional kung fu martial arts movies. Uh, here's another one that I haven't seen, The Boxer's Omen. This we already knew about from information that this was going to be in the set. This is from 1983 from director, uh, and apologies if I'm not saying this correctly, Kyu Chi Hyung. I don't know. Uh, while in Thailand, to avenge his brother who is who is crippled in a fight with a corrupt Thai boxer, a man gets caught up in a web of fate, Buddhism, and black magic. So this is a little more on the fantasy side. Again, I haven't seen this yet. It looks like a little more of a fantasy, uh, magic, magical kind of uh, sort of out there side of uh, martial arts or Shaw Brothers movies. Uh, here's the next one, the, the last one, which I've actually seen. I actually used to own this on VHS. I don't have any more. I thought maybe I'd have VHS laying around to show you. The Barefooted Kid from 1993. I remember this movie having like a crazy scene where he's kind of walking through a, um, a street or hallway or something, a narrow area, and he's fighting a lot of people, and he's and the, the, the star of the movie is doing a lot of like crazy stuff, and of course he's using his, his foot a lot. I remember it being sort of visual and very crazy. It's kind of an odd title to include in this when when it's so heavy on Lark Har Lung and only four with Chang Che, I almost feel like maybe squeezing another Chang Che movie because I know he's got a lot more out there that are pretty legendary and classic that I'd like to see, but maybe they'll hold those off for uh, volume three if that happens. So The Barefooted Kid, 1993, apparently this has three directors, um, Johnny To, Patrick Leung, and Johnny Mock. Again, apologies if I'm not saying that right. Here's a synopsis while working at a family friend's business, a penniless orphan draws the attention of a corrupt competitor and is torn between divided loyalties. It's a little vague, but you know, it's a poor kid. He knows Kung Fu. He's gonna he's gonna do some stuff. And uh, this stars Maggie, Maggie Chung, uh, Aaron Kwok, who I think is the lead, and T Lung is in it. So be curious to see what T Lung look like in uh, 1993. You know, the evolution of T Lung, one of my favorite Shaw Brothers stars, but the hairline and whether he's bald or has a wig or kind of has the receding hairline like I have is interesting to see in his movies. I and mean, of course, later on when John Woo, his hairline seems to start 
kind of way back and at that point maybe he should have just shaved it off or something gone for like the bald look so uh this also uh says that it's gonna have two music cd soundtracks plenty of bonus features of course we're gonna get the full color booklet it's in kind of this interesting style uh kind of a red cover there and um I'm looking forward to it. I'm very excited that we're going to get a lot of these, some of the other movies I've never seen before, so it'll be interesting to check out. So you'll have to let me know in the comments below if you've seen some of these movies, if you're excited about some more Shaw Brothers. I hope, I hope, I hope that this sells, that we get volume three, and we continue on. There's a lot, like I said, there's a lot more Chang Chain movies. I think when it comes to Long Car Long movies, uh, between this and 88 Films and uh, Eureka or whatever, whoever else is putting Long Car Long films out, I think I've got... The bulk of his collection in blu-ray now so 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 good there it's chang che that i need to uh fill in some more gaps you know brave archer one two three four and five let's get those let's get um let's get let's let's redo the flying guillotine one again let's put that in a set since that's a bad print from 88 films um so there's a few there's there's more there's probably let me know in the comments below more suggestions you'd like to see in volume three we, we have a year to talk about that so thanks a bunch for watching for coin TV. we'll see you next time